Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm the Eccentric Crafter. Welcome to my new channel. I have wanted to do a YouTube channel for years. I've been obsessed with watching other YouTube channel crafters. I love watching process videos and haul videos and how to do it videos and question and answer videos. Um, and I've wanted to create a channel, but for so long I didn't think that I had anything unique to offer. I'm not an artist, I'm just a crafter, um, but I've been dabbling in mediums f such as paper crafting, uh, crochet, a little bit of light sewing, stamping, jewelry making for years, but I didn't know what my specific twist on a craft YouTube channel could be until I had an epiphany. This last week I was watching a video and thinking, wow, I really need to get this and that led me to going to Amazon and putting it in my car and looking around my room and saying, so where is this gonna go? And it hit me. I have more than enough craft supplies for what I need. Probably more than I could get through in a lifetime. So really, do I need any more craft supplies? It also made me realize that I don't use a lot of the stuff that I have. I've I've enjoyed the art of collecting, but ultimately I want to create things. And I used to create jewelry and do craft shows and, and was moderately successful, but um, then a little bit of my mental illness took over and I became very insular and I was scared to put myself out there. Uh, so I decided to give myself a challenge, and this challenge is to utilize all the supplies in my craft room that I already have without buying new ones. It kind of makes me want to scream and freak out and run away and forget this whole process. But ultimately, for me, that's what I want to do. I want to create, not just shop. And... Shopping is fun, but I look around the space, which I'll be showing in my next video, and I have so many treasures here already that I really don't need more things. I need to start utilizing the things that I already have. So my objective, my challenge is threefold. The first part is to use everything in my craft room. That is all of the paper pads that I've bought all of the stamp pads that I've bought to use them at least once, all of the, the stamping images to use them at least once, to use all of my markers at least once, to try to use up all of my beading and jewelry making supplies, and to make sure that the things that are reusable, such as stamps and um, different tools, that I use them at least once. So as I go through these creative process, this, these creative videos, I am going to put a little dot on the things that I use. And hopefully by the end of this process, I will have learned something about myself. I will have become more creative. I will become more frugal. And I will um, have offered something to you guys, some inspiration that we don't always need the newest, best thing. The second piece of this challenge is to scour the internet and my imagination to come up with unique and different ways to use these products. Um, you know, I have some ideas, I have some unique things I've done, but I also do love watching other YouTubers and giving them credit and trying to take, you know, on what their project is and, and add my own spin to it. So that's the second part. And finally, the third part is to actually put the things that I make out there, be it um, an Etsy shop or craft fairs or other venues um, to actually try to sell some of my products. Um, I end up making tons of things and then just giving it away, which is lovely. I'm happy to give my things away, but I think that it says something about yourself when you're willing to put a price tag on things that you have worked hard for and that you love. So that is my journey. I hope that you will stay with me through it and get some insight, um, maybe challenge yourself uh, a little bit as well. And that we will go on this journey together. All right, thanks for watching.